and we're like, hello everyone. <laughs> so I have no idea. Why don't you say hello? Hello. All right, yeah. I'll talk for a bit. Yeah. I've got the mic. Just so everyone knows, I'm here as well, but you've got the mic. You didn't breathe, did you? I didn't breathe. She is now two and a half meters away, so even more. So, All right. so, so I'm going to read some questions. Maybe you find that to the guy. Oz is going to read some questions, and then I'll probably just talk a bit because I just like to talk. Um, actually, I'll start off with. We're supposed to be in Texas. I think it's this weekend, and uh, obviously with 2020, we are not in Texas, so. It's great to be in Portugal, nothing against Portugal at all. I actually am I'm very excited to be racing on this track. But uh, yeah, of course, we're supposed to be in Austin and uh, this was the Austin edition hat this year. So I'm going to wear it all weekend because my heart is in Texas. And, and it's the on the eShop. And it's what, sorry? It's the on the eShop. And you can buy it as well on the eShop at RenaultSport.com. There you go. Um, but there it is, Texas forever. And actually, I yeah, it's cool. I like it. Anyways, Let me find some what's going on? Ask some questions. Oh, first question. How's the, ta the tattoo progress? So I have been in contact uh, with a tattoo artist in London. Um, London, why London? Because uh, I'm there a bit for, for simulator and stuff. And uh, I guess Cyril is there. For, for work as well, you know, every now and then. So I feel like it's the best place we could probably meet up to get it done. And uh, I've, I've been tattooed uh, in London a few times, so I, I have uh, some trust in uh, in the artist. So uh, yeah, let's see. But uh, I've asked him to sketch up a couple designs, and we'll see. But uh, Cyril's told me I think where he's going to get it. I try to convince him of like the shoulder, like kind of yeah, prison style, awesome dad tat. But uh, I don't think he's sold on that. So. Anyway, it's going to be all right. It's happening. It is happening. That's the main important thing. Um, talk to us about Portugal. Are you excited about the track? And also, do you reckon we jump up a two? What, what we say? <laughs> Come on, guys. Isn't one enough? <laughs> um, absolutely. I think, uh, well, the track is cool. I drove here 11 years ago, and it's, it's really fun. It's, it's very, it's quite undulating probably one of the most we drive on quite a few blind corners and hills and crests and whatever um, and I think in F1 it's going to be awesome so yeah excited um, I, I do I do believe that we can keep pushing obviously for for another podium you know I, I don't think we fluked it obviously we were getting very close all year and, and we got it but uh, yeah I think there's a, there's a few more races to try and aim for another at least I'm just going to drink my ginger and lemon tea It's hot. So, uh, uh, I've got to ask because I don't know what this is. Do you listen to Joji? Oh yeah, Joji yes. Guy. Yeah, love Joji. Uh, so his new album, Nectar, is amazing. But I love his old stuff as well. Um, oh, what's the song? The very first song I heard from him, I think, I think it was called I Don't Want to Waste My Time. I'm pretty sure that was the song. Um, and there's the other one, there's a few, Yeah Right, I love Yeah Right, um, but off the new album, yes, um, Mr. Hollywood's great, anyway, the whole new album's amazing, um, he's just, I don't know, Joji's a vibe, Joji's like, he's an individual, uh, so if you like follow him on Instagram, he has the most random Instagram page, and it's awesome, he's like, he's a cult figure. So, it's funny because on, on the screens in the hospitality, there's been lots of um, like reruns of interviews and it's Esteban talking with Ian Poulter, so a professional golfer, and that's been on all day. So I'm like, something, something's trying to talk to me here. But uh, so this weekend we're staying at a, at a hotel with a golf course. I guess they're called golf resorts. And um, Michael and myself were just, uh, we went outside yesterday to get some to get some air and to do some like stretching and stuff and uh and then yeah there was a putting green so we asked if there was some putters there were and uh we just started putting and 
what, what can I say? Pulled off a little bit of Gilmore Happy, so... Uh-oh, <laughs> someone learned how to putt. <laughs> but I never play golf, so I'm not like, I'm not a golfer, but uh, I think there is a time for golf in my life one day, but uh, I'm not there yet, but I, I did enjoy putting, so we were putting for like probably an hour, it was good fun. There's a lot of questions about food, of course there's a loads of questions about food. All right, food. hit Portugal, me. Portugal, food. So I've, I've had, so Portugal's very, I guess, well, one of their main dishes is, is their chicken, right? I guess it's like their, is it peri-peri chicken? Or is that a Western thing like Tex-Mex? <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure. So I did. Well, I did have anyway some some like barbecue chicken um, from Portugal, and it was very delicious. And it was a little bit spicy, and I loved it. And I feel like chicken can be, unless you're frying it. Obviously, everyone loves fried chicken. But if you're doing it kind of semi-healthy, it's it's hard to make chicken exciting in a healthy way. But I, I feel the Portuguese have nailed it. So. Well done. So, all right. Well, I did say, so when uh, Coulthard interviewed me on the, like, pre-podium after Nürburgring, he'd mentioned the tattoo, and I said, yeah, you know, it's probably going to have something to do with Germany, because it's, like, the location where we did it, and something to do with me, and whatever, but... So I think it will have something to do with me, in, t in the form of a honey badger. Um, but... Uh, I don't know if it will have something to do with Germany as such, but uh, we'll see. But uh, when I reference me, I'm kind of referring to a honey badger of, of a sort. Yeah. Um, we are probably not going to do this live before Imola. Yep. So that's the other new track that we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about Imola. What are you thinking? All righty. I don't know if you guys can hear orally that well, but I'll, I'll try and repeat the question and the answer. So um, Imola, am I kind of excited about it? all that so I did some simulator um, to kind of learn the track and get a feel for it yeah it's it's pretty intense it's, it's pretty fast and um, yeah I'd say fairly narrow you kind of attack some curbs so it's it's a pretty like hands-on track um, I, I feel you've got to like muscle the car around there a bit so it's old school I guess um, so I like that um, we've got I, I'm <laughs> I mean Germany prepared us very well for a two-day weekend so I'm not, not concerned about that. I do enjoy learning new tracks and, and I feel like it's, it's a challenge trying to learn it as fast as you can. So uh, I'm excited for Imola. Yeah, looking forward to it. I mean, three Italian Grand Prix in one year. <laughs> Mamma mia. That's a lot of pizza. It's a lot, it's a lot of pizza. Oh, I've, missed, uh, I've missed good pizza since being in Monza. So I didn't have pizza in Mugello, but uh, Mugello, they're like, home of uh like I, want, I think they're home of like steak uh, fiorentina so it's like t-bone steak and it's amazing so that's what i was eating in Mugello. but uh hopefully imola can get some pizza all right two more questions one is how much are you missing austin what are you missing about one hundred? Uh, yeah so i i had a moment to myself yesterday i was um i was driving to the circuit and some of Portugal is pretty rural, like it's, there's a lot of outback here, I feel, you know, some of it reminded me of Australia, but also some of it reminded me of Texas, and there was one part of road I was driving through, and it honestly felt like Texas, probably because I was playing some country music as well, um, so I was like, basically, I've been playing country music all week, and I, I really kidded myself that I was in Austin yesterday, uh, so it felt really good. Um, obviously the barbecue and all that I miss, but I don't know, Austin, I feel it's just a place where I feel like there's some parts of the world where you touch down, you know, you literally land on the tarmac and you get like a, a happiness, you know, and I get that in Austin. I get that when I land home, you know, in Australia and there's a few places around the world I get that feeling and it's just got like that, there's like just a feel good kind of energy in the air and there's song and dance and there's good food and yeah, so, uh. Miss it all, really. I want to cry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and talking about music, last question. You've you, you got 30 seconds. People are asking about new playlists. Mm. You, share, you share songs every week. So where can they find your songs? One does. One does. So I, I'm really weird with my music. So like I, I have um, like a lot of my playlists are private. <laughs> I don't know why. Just just because I'm, I'm a music snob. Um, but no, I do share... So like three songs a week 
uh, on, on my Instagram stories and because uh, a lot of people do ask what I'm listening to and I, I also enjoy sharing music like I, I love playing a song for someone and they're like oh this is amazing you know and then they ask me about the artists and I'm like yeah well I discovered them whenever and so um, yeah and then it's uh, so it's in three by three so and some people are like what does that what does it mean nine like no so three songs so three is the three songs by three three is me so three songs by Daniel so it's three songs a week by me and uh, I just like put the title and the artist and then like a little caption about why I like the song or what the song reminds me of um, and they all stay in my like highlights so if you've missed it you can catch up on all of them and uh, obviously you've got to then search the song yourself whatever music platform you have but uh, it's cool as well because like even actually because through it I tag the artists and some artists then reach out and, and say thanks for sharing and stuff so it's like I actually get a kick out of it because it's you know giving them some recognition obviously some of them are much bigger than me but some like maybe small artists I found maybe in Austin for example it's cool to like uh, give them some love and, and get their music out there that's it that's all we've got time all right you've got an interview there so gotta go awesome Wicked. Uh, see you later. I'm going to put my mask back on because I'm getting close to people, but...